I did my undergrad studies at the German University in Cairo, and there, um, like any, like in any undergrad school, basically, you have a set of methods that you use. This is the to-go methods whenever you want to tell a story, you want to, whenever you want to solve a problem or whatever, um, and you develop like your own way around these methods, and this becomes sort of your comfort zone. In my grad studies, um, so there were like all this different way of approaching, different way of telling, different way of um, discovering and touching your design ecology and understanding your design ecology um, in a non-traditional way. Um, and this this sort of really like helped me break up with like my comfort zone. I, I get my students to production pretty quickly. I don't wait till they are done with all the research and then they find like they refine their stories and storyboards and everything look perfect and then say, okay, now it's time for production. If you're finished first with all your research and, and studies and interviews and surveys, um, and you have all the results all at once, and then you sit and start to figure out what would you do next. Uh, sometimes you have ideas and you think you develop ideas, but you never get them into production with let them mock-ups or prototypes early enough. And after you're done with your research, you, you think that this idea is the one that will work. And once it gets to production, you see that it just doesn't communicate whatever you want to communicate. So you hit this block in a way, uh, like um, late in the process. You should yeah, hit it much earlier. All students right now have access to Linda. And the reason why Linda is very important is that I think at this stage, um, you have to build up, like students have to build up their um, self-learning um, skills in a way. Um, yes, we're there for them now, but they'll eventually graduate and. And, and they have to figure out how do they update the knowledge themselves. I know that whatever I told myself, I've never forgot. And if I forgot it, I know how to look for it again. And this is important. I also encourage students to use Behance and Behance works for them as a platform to document their work. And it just a, a ready, they're ready to present whenever they want uh, in class, right? They just stand there and say, this is what we've done. So. Uh, this is what I've done, this is how I proceeded, and you can easily see whether they're progressing or not because everything is sort of in a sequence. I would also say, like, tell them how the rule function and let them um, practice the rule once and then let them break it. And then bring them examples from something like Adbusters. See how they're just breaking all these rules and, and let them experience that.